Hi there, this is Urs Heckman of Juhi and we're gonna share a little bit of a sneak peek of something that's coming up, a new control, this control here, usually it's gonna be off and while it's off you will be just mousing normally, all that kind of stuff that you usually do, but when it's on and you mouse you'll get a carré here and uh, that little frame indicates that this control now has key focus and with key focus you can do stuff like you can press plus and you can press minus right and I hope one sees how this what I'm pressing here uh, gotta mention this is video is made on a Mac so it's a Mac keyboard on Mac um, we usually use command and option for things and on Windows this is mapped to control and alt and on Linux I have no idea I think most of the features do not yet work on Linux uh, we hope to bring them there as well so with shift though and the plus and minus on the number block you can do mini values like 0.01 values right that's like the fine same as with the mouse so shift and mouse is usually like a fine uh, fine adjustment without shift it's the normal adjustment right that kind of stuff um, then what else you can do is like once you once you have a value somewhere uh, you can press the backspace button uh, to delete it and then it goes to the default value right this can be a different value for whatever kind of control there is like uh, for instance a release is often something that's like in the 30s or 20s right and backspace brings it back to what we set it to as a default value. Um, then you, what you can do is you can actually type the value. So for release, which goes from 0 to 100, and we want to put it to 65.3, we'll put 65.3 and then hit enter. Boom, there you go. Um, and in a bipolar value like the LFO which goes from like oh minus 120 to plus 120 uh, for the filter right so you can set it to let's say you want to go to minus 50 you press 50 and then the minus later because the minus is used for increment and decrement uh, you type a number you press the minus while you're typing or after typing the number it becomes a negative number and so 40 would be positive, 40 minus would be negative. Um, then uh, if you like a value and you want to use it a lot, you can press Command C to copy it. And then you can Command V paste it, depending on yeah, some values. Are. If it exceeds the range, then it will go to the maximum or minimum. Um, and what else can you do? So, list. Ah, oh, yeah. Then you can use the the cursor keys to actually navigate. So you can go. You know, you can move the carré around. It'll have a little animation there so that you can follow it, which we hope is good for accessibility. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So, and when you're when you're over like a mod source, um, you can. I think you can't use well, you can use plus and minus but you can also type away not a value but the actual modulator so if we want to use lfo2 we could write lfo2 right and press enter or we could shortcut we can do whatever is the shortest way for the lfo let's, let's say lfo1 it would be l1 or lfo2 then l2 or uh, so it just always has to be at least the first letter and then the number um, depending on what there is right so uh, there's control a and control b so control a or constant 
and then oh C O B should give us control B. Oh, there it is. Um, and what else is there? So and also here, I think their backspace doesn't work yet. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, but if you have an assignment, right, then Backspace will clear the assignment, which is handy sometimes. Uh, then one thing that works whether key control is on or not is you press P to go to the preset browser. And then once you're in the, in the preset browser, you can just uh, browse presets with the cursor keys. And you can go you can switch towards the, um, uh, wait, you can use enter to open folders. So you can go to the folders, you can open folders, you can, you can close folders again. Um, and go through the presets just as you normally would. Uh, there's no key control to go back there and it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but it's just not there yet. Um, and then there are special controls like uh, this control, for instance, right, where you create your sequence for the shape sequencer. Um, this has four rows and eight values in each row. So the rows are addressed with A, B, C, and D. And let's go to row A, and then the numbers one to eight set the steps as one would expect right and then you can do this or that um the control above selects the shapes to edit for navigation like that we usually have option and the cursor keys right so you go through these and if they were actually different, one would actually be able to see the differences there. There's nothing else to do with key control just yet here. Some controls have not been, uh, have not gotten any treatment yet. We first want to see how it all works out and um, yeah, how you take it and everything, right? So. Another thing that we haven't done is uh, there's uh, no connection to the system's accessibility functions yet. So uh, it won't read to you what value it has or what parameter you're, you're browsing currently. It's, it's more like a, uh, an addition to the mouse at the moment. Um, and it also doesn't have shift, tap, and tap to go module by module. That's because uh, while our, <laughs> our software has a concept of modules, our UI does not yet have any concept of that. Um, and then there are certain parameters like, see here you go from the ARP and S yeah, sequencer tab to directly to the on-off button for the effects, but you can't go to X, Y, F, X, or scope. That's because the first one is like the main button and with plus and minus you go through the different uh, layers here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the most important things to be about copy paste, right? We had undo and shift C redo. Um, Precess navigation. Yep, that's pretty much the overview I wanted to give. Uh, then again, important, this is all work in progress. So we will be showcasing this or putting this in all upcoming releases and um, we'll uh, we we'll keep working on it. You know, it's not it's not a hundred percent finished, but it's much better than what used to be there. Um, a little quirk, for instance, is that once you link uh, controls, when you type a value like fifty, 
and then both sides have the same value if you have an offset here and you use uh, plus and minus the off offset is preserved uh, these are little quirks that are yeah, there other than that maybe give it a try and you can always switch it off by clicking key control off and then everything works as it used to okay that's it